Ladies and gentlemen, several years ago, I had the privilege of being a guest in a program called Project Interchange. It's sponsored by the National Jewish Council and others who are interested in promoting understanding of all peoples of the nation of Israel. And I must tell you, it was one of the most profound, spiritual, uplifting experiences I have ever had in my life. And so much as I really developed a deep and true understanding of the Jewish people and of the nation of Israel. And I mention this to you now because those things which the nation of Israel is currently experiencing means that they deserve all the thoughts and prayers that every one of us can have. And I mention this to you too because I understand that B'nai Israel means children of Israel. And I remind you of that as I am reminded, and as I share this proclamation with sincere love and best wishes to all of you in celebration of today. Whereas the Jewish year 5758 and 5759 has been and will be a memorable year for the Congregation B'nai Israel, which is celebrating its 75th anniversary. And whereas the Congregation B'nai Israel is one of the first synagogues in St. Petersburg and Pinellas County, and whereas the Congregational family will be marking another milestone at the groundbreaking of their new synagogue adjacent to, to their existing building, and whereas the commitment and the dedication of the Congregation demonstrates their great spirit and enthusiasm in building this new synagogue. Now, therefore, I, Barbara Sheen Todd, Chairman of the Pinellas Board of County Commissioners, do hereby set my hand and cause the seal of Pinellas County, Florida, to be affixed this 25th day of October, 1998, in honor of Congregation B'nai Israel. And we urge the people throughout Pinellas County to join you in this very special day. This new building, we <laughs>
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us exalt and rejoice in it. The portion this week is Yona. So, Pedro told us a few moments ago, it's Lakbaka. Go. Abraham is told by God, go forth to a land that I will show you. Leave your homeland, leave your family, leave your land, leave your surroundings, leave everything you know, and trust me, and I'm going to take you to a good place. And Abraham went. And generations later, here we are today, with the B'nai Israel leadership of 5759 saying, Lakwaka. Go, B'nai Israel, not yet, in a few minutes. We're all going to go down the street to the new location of our future home. We are ready to go to the future. I was in New York this week, walking down 7th Avenue, I think it was 57th Street, I don't remember exactly. There was a church and it had a marquee. And the marquee had on it, this is the house of God and you are welcome. And I said, wow, someone's looking out for me. Groundbreaking is coming up. What a wonderful thought. This is the house of God and you are welcome. And as I pondered over that statement since Tuesday or Wednesday when I saw that, I said, no, 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 no. It's a good idea, but not for us. The Jewish version is, this is your house. <coughs> Make God welcome. This is our house. We make God welcome here. After all, we're paying for this. <laughs> we're contributing with our dollars, with our hours, with our efforts, with our expertise, with our skill, with our wherewithal, with our neshamas, with our souls, and with our bodies. It is our house that we are building for God. The next challenge is harder. How are we going to make God welcome into this house? So on the radio in New York this week, I heard a story again told, which I had heard before, of Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, who showed up at the train station one day on his way to an important meeting. And he approaches the station master saying, I have a problem, I lost my ticket. And the station master said to him, don't worry, I know who you are, you're Oliver Wendell Holmes. Don't worry, well, I have to get back. He says, don't worry, everybody in this country knows you, you'll be able to get back. When you get home, you'll look in the drawer in the suit that you didn't wear today, somewhere you'll find a ticket and you'll bring it to me. I know you. And Justice Oliver, Oliver Wendell Holmes is said to have turned to the station master and said, you're very kind, you're very gracious, I thank you very much. The problem is, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> well, let me tell you that that's not the problem for Congregation Ben Israel. We know where we are going. We have a leadership that has spanned 75 years as we celebrate this special anniversary for our synagogue, that in every generation has risen to say, this is the direction we need to take. And our present leadership has led us to this moment. And it is a glorious moment. But this is an opportunity for us for redirection, for turning. Do we know where we're going? Do you know? where you're going as an individual. What are your goals? Well, I think the leadership goals of Congregation B'nai Israel are crystal clear. We want to provide a home, a home where Jews can find God and make him welcome, make her welcome. A, Jew, a place where Jews can come and study Torah, learn so that then we can go out into the world and act. We want a home where we can gather to be together, in good times and in sad times. We as a CBI family know our direction. We know that these children up here on the beam of this morning 
They'll be sitting here when we celebrate the next major celebration 25 and 50 years from now. We know that the children who were up on this bima this morning are going to be our committee chair people and our officers and board of directors and representatives throughout our Jewish community as so many of you adults are today. For we know our direction. We know our ticket for the future and we know where we are going. In the last sign given to me in New York, I found right across from Bloomingdale's on 59th Street in Lexington. You'll never guess who took me there. <laughs> and on the way there, there was a sign on the construction of a synagogue. And it said, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, chapter 2, verse 18. Nakum Shuvaninu. Let us start building. Let us start building. This is a joyous day as we together we start building. With God's blessings, may it be successful. Amen. It is with great pleasure that I present. shopping centers, new neighborhoods, the downtown, the new uh, cycle of museums and the welcome edition of the Holocaust Museum last winter, new baseball team, we are renewed. And we too are to meet the 21st century as a new city with a bold new face. It's broad, it's deep. To show you how deep it is in the inner city in my Challenge 2001 program, where we're working mightily with neighborhoods on renewal, new houses, new faces, new streets, sidewalks, new birth, new life. Some of our neighborhoods, three of them in fact, in the inner city, have had their assessed valuations go up over, over 30%. And it's become a play with many, many acts. This morning is exciting, but it is also important in our synagogue, we have a tradition. Each bar abundance for child is presented his or her certificate of bar mitzvah by the last child who became a bar abundance mitzvah in our congregation. And each time, they proclaim that we are members of one of the oldest continuing religious civilizations. The children wrote we pronounce this statement, but neither they nor we think much about the meaning behind the words. We have endured as Jews, often in the face of adversity. The founding members of B'nai Israel faced anti-Semitism right here in St. Petersburg. They were banned from certain places on the beach and from many establishments in the city. They were brave souls, but perhaps we are brave as well. We are striving to ensure that we endure in an era of no particular persecution. Rather, we face the threat of our successes, assimilation, intermarriage, in embracing the task of building a new synagogue. We are taking responsibility in considering the Jewish future. We have had many fine people who have come before us who have taught us what we must do. And I tried to think this morning if there's one person I can mention. I thank everyone for their hard work in making this morning a reality. I dreamed about looking out from this bima and seeing standing room only crowd. And we finally <coughs> succeeded in that this morning. And I'm certain that there will be people who will not have been mentioned either last night at our gala or this morning 
who perhaps will feel sad that they weren't. But each person is so important to our success, and I can't sit here and read everyone's name. But there is one person who felt a great sense of responsibility. And he taught me a great many things, and he is not with us this morning, although he was a member of this Come Build It campaign steering committee. 25 years ago, Dr. Phil Benjamin knew that we needed to purchase a cemetery to fill the needs of our Jewish community. 25 years later, it was the responsible thing to sell that cemetery. But Phil told me many, many months ago, Reba, do not compromise on this building. You must be responsible. And I am deeply indebted to Phil Benjamin for his devotion to the synagogue and hope that I can measure up at least a little bit to the man that he was and to fill the responsibility. This morning is indeed his dream. He so wanted to sit in our new building. And I feel that it's so important to remember his influence in getting us to where we are this morning. We are indeed his
from our hearts, more importantly, from our actions. This is a day of rejoicing, a day of happiness, and of the beginning of the first fulfillment, fulfillment of erecting a sanctuary. Our many other days will be the days of enrichment as lives come through this sanctuary. They are strengthened when they are weak. They are healed when they are ill. They are helped to rejoice when achievements of simcha reach their lives. I think it is time for all of us to say together to each other. Baruch Very happy day. Amen.